ever wild may never, ever, ever, never wild. I just wanted to put that together. What's happening is wild. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, think about subscribing and hitting that like button. It's going to help me out in 2022 grow, grow very large, large. Anyway, I want to talk about Ever Wild. When I first saw it, <clears throat> I thought that it looked really good. I liked the art style. I liked the, the graphical style. I liked the, the use of color and animation. It reminded me of almost like a Breath of the Wild um, advanced, if you will. But... Here we are, another Microsoft first party studio, another game announced, and now all indications behind the scenes, a lot of conjecture, a lot of rumor, and some really strong hints point to this game being canceled. Now, there's nothing definitive yet that says that this game is going to be canceled, but it just feels like one of those situations that Microsoft got themselves into with a first party studio, and things are not feeling good when it comes to Everwild. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, when is this going to stop? And if you jump to a whataboutism, then get out. Because this isn't about PlayStation, this isn't even about Xbox versus PlayStation. This is just about somebody, people are out there like me, who want great games. And yes, I expect a console manufacturer and the people who work for that console manufacturer, the exclusive employees to create great content, things that I can't get anywhere else, things that leverage the system that I purchased that make me feel special. I want to feel special. But they showed this game years ago. They have no idea what the game even is. This is their own words. They have no idea what this game is, what the gameplay is, anything about it. They just put together essentially an in-engine or a CG cutscene, some animals flying around, some people doing some weird dances, and that's it. How in the world do you come up with a concept for a game like that? Announce it as a first party. This is Microsoft going forward. This isn't the old Microsoft where games were just crap. This is the new Microsoft, and yet here we are again with a game and a company like Rare that has no clue what's going on. Now, I believe, this is my own personal opinion, that with Sea of Thieves, Microsoft was heavy-handed in telling Rare exactly what they wanted. They wanted an online, always online, run around, do mindless things with your friends perpetually over and over and over again to subscribe to Game Pass. That's Sea of Thieves. Now, Rare stepping outside, trying to do something on their own. This is not the Rare of old. They are completely lost when it comes to any concept of a video game especially one where you have to come up with a story and it has to be a single player. It has to have a journey. You have to ha have some sort of impact to the player. They just can't get it together. And again, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. This game, Everwild, will be canceled. It will not be pretty. It will be horrible PR nightmare for Microsoft and Xbox in 2022, but I think this game is going to be canceled. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Remember, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.